eve of Independence Day, it was another hot and dry day across West Central and Northwest Ohio. Our high temperature officially hit 90 degrees. Low this morning was 61. Again, no rain today, which keeps our monthly total at a trace. Looking at current temperatures across the region right now, comfortable, but they're warm. 71 in Lima, 72 in Ottawa, 73 in Bluffton. Finley is the hot spot right now at 76 degrees. Looking at satellite radar right now, no rain to contend with and really no clouds at all as high pressure really is in control. Looking at the weather map as a whole, that high pressure is now over Pennsylvania with that cold front that moved through a couple days ago just off the northeastern seaboard. As we look across the central Great Plains, that warm front is starting to lift northward with hot air surging back northward as well. But we really see the jet stream really taking place right over us. And as that warm front lifts northward and interacts with the jet stream and multiple disturbance right along it, those ridge riders we've been talking about, expect showers and thunderstorms to return to our forecast several days. All right, fireworks forecast. A lot of people have been asking, what will the weather be for your fireworks display? Overall, it should be okay 90, at 9 p.m. 82, 10 p.m. 79, and 11 p.m. at 77. We do have a chance for isolated thunderstorms, but I want to emphasize most of us will remain dry. Also, I expect a more widespread thunderstorm activity to really commence after those fireworks display. So overall, we should be okay, but it's always safe to just monitor the radar in the skies as there's still a chance. Looking at skycasts across the area, we remain dry and cloud free as we go through tomorrow morning. But as those disturbances roll through the area, there could be a few th thunderstorms late in the evening. But especially as we go through late Monday night into Tuesday morning, the models have been consistent on a line of th storms forming from Chicago into southwest Michigan. And those storms could push through the area as we go through Tuesday morning. Going through Tuesday afternoon, we could have another round of storms that could form and push through the area. This is very typical with that Ridge Rider type pattern. Looking at severe weather, marginal risk is in effect for our 4th of July. And for our Tuesday, we have a marginal risk now also for the entire area. Tonight, a bit milder, mostly clear, will dip down to right around 65 degrees. For your 4th of July, it'll be hot, mostly sunny, high 92. Nighttime storms are possible, especially after midnight. Looking at your seven day forecast, Tuesday is hot and humid, high 92. With that humidity, heat index could be near 100, scattered storms likely. Storm chances go through Friday, but with that, before that pattern dissolves by next weekend. Sartage.